Astronomers were excited to discover the interstellar object last year. It was named Oumuamua. Physicist Michio Kaku has frequently shared that we're not fully prepared for the consequences of a space rock colliding with Earth, despite the knowledge of this potential eventuality. According to many experts, our most immediate threat is the devastating rain of fiery meteors that could emanate from a comet. When first detected, the peculiar interstellar object on Wamla created quite a stir in the scientific circles. Its eccentric characteristics made it the topic of many discussions. However, its distance made it difficult for us to study in detail. This changed with the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, a monumental step forward in our observational capabilities. Despite Tamwamla's incredible distance, the James Webb Space Telescope managed to capture an image, providing us with the first crystal clear picture of this enigmatic entity. So, let's dive into the interesting discussion here with Michio Kaku. Where exactly is Amwama at the moment, and how did the James Webb Space Telescope manage to capture this far-flung celestial body? And most importantly, what new insights have we gleaned from this fresh image? Join us as we explore the mysteries of Amwama, illuminated by the James Webb Space Telescope lens. Amwama was the first object from another solar system that we found. It looked like a space rock at first, but when we looked closer, we had some other ideas. Space rocks are either round or weird shaped because of what they're made out of, but Amwama didn't move around like a crazy thing, and it looked more like a looked more like a space cigar. It was also moving pretty slow. We knew it wasn't a space rock when it came close to our star system. Amwama didn't move much around the sun like space rocks that go slow like planets. It looked like it was going in a straight line. Since we first went into space a long time ago, nothing has acted like Amwama. We didn't know where it came from, and that made it even more mysterious. We usually send probes like Voyager 1 to check out space and tell us things that we can't see from Earth. Imagine how exciting it was when a space thing came to us. We saw this space traveler on October 19th of 2017. Robert Wierk from the Haleakala Observatory found it with a tool called PanStars. The PanStars team knew that they found something strange when Amwama started flashing like a bright light. They named it Amwama, which means messenger from far away, or scout. And they told everyone about this big find. The first time we met something from outer space was really exciting. But it was also really scary because Amwama looked like it was coming at us. Amwama caused quite a stir. People said all sorts of things about where it came from, what I was doing here. Some people were scared of a space rock hitting Earth, and others thought that it might be a secret spaceship from aliens. Some space experts thought that it was a fast-moving comet because it didn't look like no space rock, it didn't act like no space rock either. But Amwama proved them wrong once again. It didn't have a tail or gas like a comet. So when Amwama sped up close to our sun, some people started thinking that it was a spaceship from aliens. On September 9th, 2014, Amwama was going real fast, 196,000 miles per hour. It looked like it was trying to get away from the hot sun. It also moved in a strange way around the sun, like it was doing that on purpose. It was weird that the sun's heat didn't seem to bother it. A famous star expert thought that the object was moving not because of normal fuel, but because of sunlight. He thought maybe a super smart alien civilization made Amwama and made it look like a space rock. It took a long time for scientists to prove that Amwama was not a spaceship from aliens. This amazing visitor is really just a piece of a faraway star system. Scientists think that hydrogen gas leaving its hydrogen-filled body made it speed up. When it got warmer, close to the sun, the trapped hydrogen gas came out and pushed it forward. So it was really just a special kind of space rock from a distant star. Since it didn't come from our star system, Amwama didn't act like normal comets or space rocks. Figuring this out was fun, but finding pictures of Oumuamua with the James Webb Space Telescope was even better. The unveiling of Oumuamua in its true form was made possible through the cutting-edge technology of a fantastic new tool. A telescope stationed around the sun, known for its prowess in understanding infrared light. This remarkable piece of technology has greatly aided our studies of objects originating from distant star systems. Infrared light has become such a valuable asset in our quest for knowledge, as it allows scientists to uncover details that might have been otherwise lost. It offers a peek into the beginnings of the universe, allowing us to gaze at the first galaxies and stars formed after the Big Bang. The capabilities of this new device extend beyond that of traditional telescopes. It's equipped with advanced features, allowing it to see distant or old celestial bodies with unprecedented detail. These features provide scientists with the ability to explore mysteries of far-off galaxies in a more relaxed manner. Beyond our solar system, we've discovered everything from black holes to massive galaxies. There's still so much to uncover, though. From Earth, studying these remote parts of space is challenging, hence why tools like Voyager 1 have been invaluable for our exploration. However, our new tools allow us to study these remote regions in detail from our home planet. Featuring an advanced infrared camera, this tool significantly improves the distances and the images of distant celestial bodies. 
Its sharp vision allows us to see extraordinary details and even fantasize about the mesmerizing sights of objects from distant star systems that pass close enough to be observed. Should one image not suffice, it has the power to assemble hundreds, even thousands of images into one awe-inspiring panorama. Since its launch, the instrument has led to a surge of exhilarating discoveries in space. It can detect the faintest celestial bodies and capture the smallest of details. It's even delivered groundbreaking insights and unveiled hidden secrets of the universe. Its introduction unlocked depths of space previously unknown to science. And that is how we've made fascinating findings like the Southern Ring Nebula and the Phantom Galaxy. This stride in space exploration has opened up new opportunities to expand our knowledge, to help our understanding of the universe. While this powerful tool is a significant milestone in space research, we can't ignore other useful devices, such as the Pan-STARRS telescope, which first detected Aumuamua. With its advanced capabilities, our new tool was able to delve deeper into understanding this intriguing object. Nestled on the Hawaiian island of Maui is the home of Pan-STARRS telescope, Mount Haleakala. The Pan-STARRS project would not have been possible without this telescope. Its primary goal, a collaborative effort between prestigious institutions, is to scan the sky for any unusual astronomical occurrences particularly ones that could lead to impact events. The Pan-STARRS-1 telescope forms part of a sophisticated system designed to capture wide shots of the sky. Its main job is to conduct comprehensive surveys of the night sky and snap photos of distant objects in the universe at optical wavelengths. The telescope tirelessly monitors the heavens, recording data on everything from far-flung galaxies to elusive comets and asteroids. It also conducts rigorous searches for anything that could threaten Earth. Pan-STARRS uses its unique PS1 image processing pipeline to manage the colossal amount of data collected from these surveys. The IPP is a state-of-the-art software that enables the Pan-STARRS Space Telescope to automatically process and analyze massive amounts of observational data. It allows astronomers to employ complex algorithms and computational methods to decipher the tens and thousands of images that it snapped of the cosmos. The Pan-STARRS-1 telescope plays a particularly remarkable role in the Pan-STARRS Near-Earth Object Survey. This survey is part of the Pan-STARRS mission, which scans the entire sky in search of potential Earth-impacting asteroids. It was during this process that Aumuamua was discovered. Pan-STARRS wasn't actively searching for Aumuamua per se, but it stumbled upon it in the course of its irregular activities. Given the nature of Pan-STARRS' mission, scientists initially presumed Aumuamua to be a potentially dangerous asteroid in a collision course with Earth. Since asteroids make up the vast majority of visitors to our solar system, it was a logical assumption that Aumuamua was just another one. However, as they began to compile and analyze data, they realized this odd interstellar visitor was no ordinary asteroid. It broke every rule scientists had previously established for asteroid behavior in space. For example, Aumuamua's path through space could change suddenly. After appearing to be headed towards Earth, Aumuamua swerved away abruptly, as if it had been spotted. The discovery that Aumuamua traveled at a rapid rate prompted scientists to change the course of the investigation. Time was of the essence. If they didn't act fast, we might never learn the truth about this unusual object. When scientists realized that they had just 11 days to gather as much information as they could about this mysterious visitor before it disappeared forever, they knew they had to move quick. Pan Star's scientists understood that missing this unique opportunity to communicate with an extrasolar visitor would be such a massive loss for humanity. Therefore, they made the executive decision to ask for NASA's assistance. And NASA didn't hesitate in deploying their most powerful instruments to unravel the Amwama mystery. The Amwistry, it's hard to say. Large telescopes were included to accurately determine the object's dimensions, color, brightness, all that. And given its critical nature, NASA was careful not to overlook any facet of Aumama's surface or structure. And because of the limited time available, NASA scientists prioritized data collection over analysis. This allowed them to store the data for later scrutiny. Nobody expected another chance at gathering information from Aumama once it left our solar system. Indeed, they were right. Since its departure, there's been no way to contact or receive signals from Amwama. Apart from Amwama, the only the comet Borisov has visited us from interstellar space. Thankfully, we managed to gather a wealth of information before Amwama exited our region of space. But the more that scientists delved into that data, the more puzzling that it became. The closer they looked at Amwama, the more questions that arose. Researchers were perplexed by its unusual characteristics and behavior. It couldn't be classified as an asteroid, comet, planet, or anything that we have existing classifications for. Asteroids and comets are typically spheres or irregular shapes that astronomers are familiar with. The gravitational forces within celestial bodies usually mold rocks into distinct shapes. The atoms in these objects remain tightly packed and spherical because they are attracted to a single gravitational pull. Collisions with space debris and the harsh environment of space also contribute to the shapes of objects, and that's why most asteroids don't conform to a particular shape. Equally mind-boggling was the immense size of this alien visitor. Its diameter was close to 200 meters, and its length was roughly 10 times its width. 
Now Mama was a space marvel with its size so out of place in our solar system. After further research, the dimensions of this object were determined to be 115 by 111 by 19 meters. And what was even stranger was that the realization that Omama was more of a pancake than a cigar. Despite initial skepticism, the cigar-shaped model of Omama is now widely accepted around the world, but it turned out that the perspective here was key. From the side, Omama could be mistaken for a cigar, but its pancake shape is pretty evident when it's viewed from above. Adding to the mystery surrounding Omama was its reddish appearance. When an object in space emits reddish light, that usually resides beyond the reaches of our solar system. In these spots, dust clouds completely envelop the object, giving it a crimson hue. However, Amwama was not in those areas, and it did not appear to be dusty. Scientists were determined that it contained no water, ice, or any other common elements found in celestial bodies, and instead, it was made entirely of rock and metal. Beyond all this, there was more to Amwama that meets the eye. The universe is a colossal theater where a multitude of intriguing cosmic dramas unfold. One such intriguing saga took center stage in 2017. A peculiar object, seemingly tossed from the depths of the cosmos, was hurtling through our solar system at an unfathomable speed of 85,700 miles per hour. This mammoth chunk of space rock, christened Omwama, bore a striking resemblance to a gargantuan cigar, sparking fascination and intrigue amongst scientists and laypersons alike. Omwama, an enigma in the vastness of space, did not conform to our knowledge of celestial bodies. Its speed kept oscillating unpredictably, a spectacle that had never been witnessed before. Imagine a, a car on the highway constantly shifting speeds without any obvious reason or pattern. Like an invisible lasso, the sun's mighty gravitational pull yanked Amwama closer. However, this alone could not explain the celestial object's erratic behavior. It was as though an unseen cosmic hand was propelling Amwama, manipulating its speed and direction. And this gave rise to tantalizing speculations, as humans are loved to do. Could Amwama be an alien spacecraft, guided by an advanced civilization from a distant star system? While this idea captured the imagination of many people, scientists sought tangible evidence, of course, as those boring scientists tend to do. Yet, even with their profound expertise, they were left scratching their heads. A possible explanation suggested that Amwama was venting hydrogen gas, providing a propulsion akin to a natural spaceship. But this theory was akin to trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. There's, there's just, there's too much that you don't know. One aspect scientists could agree on was Amwama's celestial birthplace. By tracing its trajectory and velocity, they determined that Amwama originated from the vicinity of Vega, a star in the Lyra constellation. Vega is similar to our sun, but shines a whopping 57 times brighter, lighting up the northern sky like a cosmic lighthouse. Despite Vega's relative youth, 455 million years, oh, she's so young, Amwama's long interstellar voyage suggested that it had long left Vega's neighborhood giving it a head start of approximately 300,000 years to reach our solar system. But here's the kicker. Vega wasn't in the same position when Amwama passed by, which implies that Amwama didn't hail from Vega, but traversed space from a direction where Vega currently resides. Amwama, it seems, is much older than the star Vega, and its exact birthplace continues to elude astronomers. One intriguing theory suggests that Amwama is a chunk from a larger body, maybe a star or a planet, with fractured millions of years ago due to some catastrophic event of some sort. This explanation could account for Amwama's odd characteristics. It might have been shaped by intense tidal forces, similar to how Earth's oceans ebb and flow. Today, Amwama continues its cosmic journey, having left our solar system in January of 2019. It's en route to the Pegasus constellation, accelerating like a, like a race car bolting for the finish line. The constant fluctuation in its velocity keeps scientists on their toes, as this behavior is unlike anything that we've seen before. In the infinite wilderness of the cosmos, two courageous travelers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, have ventured farther away from Earth than any spacecraft ever before. As of 2023, Voyager 1 is a mind-boggling, I can't even conceptualize this number, 14.8 billion miles away from our sun, which is already a far away from us, with Voyager 2 trailing slightly at 12.4 billion miles. To help you grasp this, Picture driving non-stop in your car at 60 miles per hour. You would need 2,800 years to reach Voyager 1 at its current space. Both Voyagers are wondrous marvels of engineering capable of detecting problems and fixing them within minutes, even from billions of miles away. They show incredible precision, able to point their instruments with accuracy of a pro bowler. Their stability is impressive too. They, they move so gently that their pace is 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock running on just 400 watts of power, a quarter of what an average Western U.S. home uses, these spacecraft tirelessly journey to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. The tiny thrusters that control their direction exert a force of only three ounces, 
But in the frictionless void of space, that is more than enough. Their path through the cosmos is stunningly precise. Voyager's arrival at Neptune was as accurate as sinking a 2,000-mile-long putt in golf. Yeah, no, it's, it, seems like, it seems like an exaggeration, but I promise you it's not. And despite covering massive distances, they're incredibly fuel-efficient. For instance, Voyager 2's journey from Earth to Neptune averaged about 30,000 miles per gallon, a rate that's only improved the further that it travels. And where do these intrepid voyagers end their epic odyssey? Some suggest it's where the sun's gravitational pull ends, way beyond the planets in the Oort cloud. At the current pace, it'll take the voyagers nearly 40,000 years to get there. But before that, they'd cross a closer boundary, the Heliopause, which marks the edge of the solar wind and the start of interstellar space. We have no spacecraft speedy enough to keep up with Aumama, so we gotta rely on powerful instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope to spy on this mysterious interstellar guest. JWST is our window to the distant cosmos, and, you know, if it gets enough popularity, Joe Rogan will probably have him on the podcast. I'm just messing. It once observed and collected data from a galaxy a staggering 28 billion light years away. Hence, the Pegasus constellation, a mere 700 light years away, seems like a stroll down the block for JWST. Yet, even with JWST's incredible capabilities, there's a chance that a mama could evade its watchful eye, given the space rock's breakneck speed. Will JWST finally help us unravel the mysteries of Awama? Or will the celestial object remain an enigma? A space riddle for the ages? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Or, uh, no. I Sorry, I, I kind of disassociated there for a second. Let us know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Vegeta!